You may have heard about this lean concept of a milk run, but what is it and how do you implement it in your factory? Hello, I'm Tom. Welcome to my channel where we talk about continuous improvement in an industrial setting. And this video is about the milk run or a small supply run uh, within your factory. And I just wanted to go with you uh, over what is it, but also specifically how do you set it up and how do you organize it? For what things do you organize it and what type of uh, let's say, materials or what type of uh, organization in your factory can really take benefit from it and what are some of the alternatives that might be better suited for other processes or other types of inventory management. To start with, what is this milk run uh, in the first place? Let's say that we have a, a small internal warehouse. No, actually, it can be a very large uh, warehouse, but this is our own internal warehouse. And then we have a whole set of operating stations uh, throughout the factory and they require what well, they require ingredients uh, and and small tools replacement stuff packaging they require all kinds of uh, widgets of whatever we're putting into our process but they also require things like um, safety gloves maybe or um, from time to time some uh, some towels uh, one of these stations actually m might not even be a real operator station but more of a, a hygiene station somewhere in the factory that requires soap and disinfectant and towels and uh, whatnot so how do you make sure that those places receive everything they got so there are a few basic ways to fill your inventory places that you have within the factory and um, Let's say the first one that comes into mind is, uh, is resource planning. So uh, you can say, if I produce a thousand of my products, I need uh, 2000 widgets, uh, I need a thousand cartons, uh, I need uh, two tubes of lubricant, I need, well, you know that you have a, uh, an average usage of your materials and you just move those ingredients over there. Um, what you can also say is, well, every day I need a new bottle of soap in my hygiene station and I'm going to put it there no matter what. Uh, that is a, one way of planning. Uh, another way is um, the pretty famous Kanban system. So what you do is the operators or a, a half automatic system, like you know, an empty bottle when you replace it, uh, the place of the, the backup bottle becomes red, stuff like that. Now, something triggers either a card or a red light uh, or another signal that specifically this item is needed. Now, what you then do is you, you walk past, uh, so to say, with your notebook uh, and you just write down what do all my stations need based on these Kanbans or alternatively uh, you take all the cards that they give you, all the Kanban cards, which is the traditional Kanban system, is that uh, the one doing the refreshing takes all the cards, goes to the central warehouse prepares the orders and then goes past these workstations and replaces the materials with the card. And then there is the milk run type of system. What it basically means is that you uh, sort of form a card of several items from your inventory and you do a round. You do a round and you replenish at every station as much as is asked. So it's sort of a, sort of a proactive Kanban. You, you drive by and say, oh, okay, they uh, have used five boxes of widgets. So I will, from my cart where I put, I don't know, eight or 10 or whatever boxes of them, I will put five boxes here, take the empty boxes and go on to the next one. And the idea is then, uh, if you do this milk run type of system, you drive with uh, a cart or uh, some factories actually have an entire train basically of uh, carts of all kinds of replenishment items that they have with them and you um, you don't really look when loading your card at what are my stations going to need but you just sort of know it by experience and take an average trolley with you an average train truck or trolley and just assuming that you will need most of those items so what you basically saw is that in all of those systems there is this idea of we, we make a round. And our positions, they can uh, give us a green or, or a red light. So basically they can give us red lights. I want something. I 
So in this example, station A, B and D, they all require something. And what you do now um, with your standard milk run is that you have your cart fully loaded. And everything is just in there, irrespective of what you are going to see. You make the round and here you drop something off, here you drop something off. This station you simply pass by. But you do your milk run anyway every fixed amount of time. For instance, you have this four times a day uh, pattern of going round. And now, of course, what you also need to do is you need to calculate you know, uh, how fast do I think that these um, items are going to run out. So we need to do a bit of historical analysis, some prediction. Say, well, if I'm only going there uh, every six hours or four times a day on a 24-hour basis, how much is this station A going to use uh, of my round rolls in a six-hour period? And maybe also with a, a little bit of variation in there, sort of a safety stock idea. So it's like um, deciding on order quantities on the small basis for, for each workstation. That's what you pack into your cart and you just drive with that. The thing here is, if I'm just using uh, the round cylinders on A, uh, some stuff from the boxes on D, uh, some of the, the, the big crates on B, um, the, the other cylinders on C, so each station really has its own stuff, then it is almost always easier to just go and check at those stations. Right? Then you do a, a quick round, you collect all those Kanban cards, load up only that stuff on your card and then put it in and even more if um, when your product changes also the type of stuff they need changes. But as soon as you have the same materials for multiple products uh, and even more the same materials at multiple of these stations then it becomes a lot more efficient suddenly to just load it up on your card up front and do the round and then and what you do is you, you add up the um, consumption of all your points on your milk run. And instead of putting a safety stock on each of those points, you can sort of assume that the variation in their consumption will level out. So you need a lot less total safety and you, uh, safety stock. And you, you only do the round once and you can just refill all of those points. And if you really see that the last point in your round uh, you just completely ran out and you need to stock some more, uh, you can always go back and get something specifically for them. But in general, this will just make sure that you have the stuff, that you don't need to go there, back to the warehouse, to the place, then the next place, check, back to the warehouse, uh, refill, but just do this one big movement. And that's where the main efficiency comes from. But as I also said, uh, as soon as you have very specific items, this milk run system it loses its efficiency. So you need to pack a lot of stuff on your card. You probably bring it back uh, to the warehouse again. Uh, you need then to have a whole number of these cards probably. It becomes difficult. So that's why a milk run is really for um, much used stuff, much used uh, small inventory, uh, preferably those things that are also used the same on multiple workplaces and one of the things uh, that I mentioned you know this hygiene station if you have that um, where you need soap and disinfectant and uh, towels you probably have this I don't know 10 20 50 of these stations in your factory they all require the same stuff so plan a route that already has all the stuff on a card so you have your your rolls of uh, your paper on a card you have a couple of bottles of soap and disinfectant on your card and just make this grand tour of all the hygiene stations at your factory instead of collecting all those bottles, going through the central warehouse to fill all of them and then bringing them back. You can do that directly there. That is an efficient way of restocking that. But what you can do also, and, and that is where you combine Kanban with milk run, you can do a partial milk run. And that is what uh, I see um, as being the usually most effective, at least the most practical solution to implement, uh, at least early on in your lean journey. And for many companies, it will stay here because to really do uh, a very efficient milk run system, you also need to completely level your production and standardize everything. And you, I mean, even Toyota doesn't do it completely like this. So 
what you can do is you make a partial milk run with all kinds of standard supplies. So you do have your cart, you do make the round, but then during that round, you also take, uh, you, you pick up all these Kanban cards. So you combine going through the factory and immediately restocking the small supplies, the, the common supplies, with collecting the Kanbans and then prepping that in your next run. Like that, you take optimal uh, efficiency, optimal use of making the round anyway, and then you can afterwards prepare and specifically send out those things that are needed in the factory. And if you happen to find, and this is more if you use uh, a free color Kanban where green is you know, don't give me any new supplies, orange is, well, yeah, please, you know, restock this station, but uh, nothing urgent. And red is, I need stuff right now. In fact, this milk run might be also quite a nice way of uh, getting alerted to those red statuses and just drop your milk run, go get it, and then pick up the milk run again. Do remember that in this free color system, uh, a, a red status should actually never happen, right? So uh, within all the normal ways of working, you should stay within orange. Anyway, that's what I wanted to tell you about uh, the milk run and especially how you combine it with Kanban. We've been talking a bit more about Kanban. This is for all those little things that you don't really want to make the cards for. Um, but if you do that as a completely separate system, I think you lose some efficiency. So combine it with collecting your Kanban signals, either with the cards or just writing it down or however you organize that in your factory and get this replenishment going from logistics to production so that in the end you get to the ideal of this type of logistics, which is the operator doesn't leave their place. They always have all the stuff they need to be productive. And you have a logistics and internal logistics crew making sure that they get, that your operators get everything they need to bring a lot of money into your company. Now, I hope you liked this explanation, gave you some ideas, you know, for your factory. If it did, don't forget to hit that like button. For now, I'm just gonna wish you a lot of luck implementing a milk run. And as always, enjoy the continuous improvement journey.